Welcome to the scientific world. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates and thrilling short scenes. Let's rewind to 1977. Star Wars is new, disco rules, and NASA is about to launch something extraordinary, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These weren't just probes, they were humanity's scouts to the outer solar system. Voyager 1's mission, fly by Jupiter and Saturn, snap photos and collect data we'd never seen before. Before Voyager, those planets were just blurry dots and died. We didn't, um, know what their atmospheres or moons were really like. Voyager 1 was loaded with cameras, spectrometers, and magnetometers, a flying lab built to survive deep space. But there was a second, even bolder mission, the Golden Record. Bolted to Voyager 1, this record carried greetings in 55 languages, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, and images of life on Earth. It was a cosmic hello, a message in a bottle for any intelligent life that might find it. Voyager 1 was both a scientific explorer and a cultural ambassador. The engineers knew it would eventually leave the solar system and wander the galaxy for billions of years. They sent it off with the tools for science and the heart of humanity on a golden disk. Voyager 1 became more than a machine. It was an emissary, a piece of us sent to touch the cosmos. Its journey would push the boundaries of exploration and our understanding of our place in the universe. Two missions, a sprint to the outer planets and a marathon into the unknown. Voyager 1 was our message to the stars, and its story was just beginning. Voyager 1's path wasn't a straight shot, it was a cosmic billiards game. NASA engineers used a rare planetary alignment happening once every 176 years to slingshot Voyager with gravity assists. First stop, Jupiter, 1979. The images were breathtaking, Jupiter's great red spot revealed as a raging storm, and faint rings discovered for the first time. But the real stars were the moons, Io, a volcanic world in constant eruption, and Europa, with its icy surface hinting at a hidden ocean. Next, Saturn, in 1980. Voyager's photos showed thousands of intricate ringlets and tiny shepherd moons shaping the rings. Saturn's moon Titan was a revelation, an atmosphere thicker than Earth's, shrouded in orange haze. After Saturn, Voyager 1's path bent north, out of the plane of the planets, on a one-way trip to the edge of the solar system. Its planetary tour was over, but its real adventure was just beginning. Voyager 1 had unveiled the secrets of two gas giants and their moons, rewriting textbooks. Now, it was heading for the unknown, interstellar space. The mission's success was already historic, but the most profound discoveries were still ahead. Voyager 1 was leaving the sun's neighborhood for good. It was now humanity's first interstellar traveler. The journey beyond the planets would challenge everything we thought we knew. The next frontier, the edge of the solar system. Voyager 1 was about to cross into the great unknown. The real mystery was just beginning. After Saturn, Voyager 1 set course for the edge of the solar system. But where is that edge? The sun blows a bubble of charged particles called the heliosphere, our cosmic neighborhood. Inside we're protected by the sun's magnetic field. Outside is interstellar space, filled with gas, dust, and cosmic rays. The boundary where the solar wind meets the galaxy is called the heliopause. For years, Voyager 1 traveled through the chaotic outer heliosphere, the heliosheath. Scientists watched for two signs, a drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays. Crossing the heliopause would mean leaving the sun's domain and entering the galaxy at large. It's not just a change in location, it's a leap into a new environment. Voyager 1 was about to become the first human-made object to experience true interstellar space. The wait for that moment lasted years. Inside the heliosphere, we're still in the sun's backyard. Beyond it, we're on the galactic street. For Voyager 1, this crossing would be a transformation. The next chapter, entering interstellar space. The breakthrough came in August 2012. It wasn't dramatic. Voyager 1's solar wind instruments had failed, so scientists watched cosmic ray data instead. Suddenly, solar particles dropped and galactic cosmic rays surged, a clear sign Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause. At 11 billion miles from Earth, a human-made machine had entered interstellar space. For the first time we had a direct emissary in the space between the stars. Voyager 1 was now sampling plasma, magnetic fields, and particles not from our sun but from the galaxy itself. Every bit of data was a first, 
a direct look at the true environment of the Milky Way. The journey had taken 35 years, transforming a planetary explorer into our first interstellar ambassador. Voyager 1 had officially left home. Its discoveries would soon challenge everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. The probe was now venturing into uncharted territory. Humanity had touched the galaxy itself. And Voyager 1 was sending back surprises. One of Voyager 1's first interstellar discoveries was a cosmic hum. Its plasma wave system detected vibrations in the interstellar plasma, a faint persistent sound. For the first time, we measured the density of material between the stars. The hum would rise and fall as shock waves from our sun rippled through the galaxy, making the plasma sing. By listening to the pitch, scientists calculated the interstellar medium was denser than expected. This changed our understanding of how the heliosphere interacts with the galaxy. Voyager 1's data replaced decades of guesswork with hard numbers. The interstellar hum was both beautiful and crucial, a cosmic symphony revealing the true nature of our galactic environment. Exploration had given us answers we couldn't get from Earth. Voyager 1 was our microphone to the galaxy's music, and the universe was more surprising than we'd ever imagined. Voyager. One's next surprise came from its study of cosmic rays and magnetic fields. Scientists expected a new magnetic environment beyond the heliopause, but Voyager found the field's direction hadn't changed. The interstellar magnetic field seemed to drape around the heliosphere, creating a complex, tangled frontier. Voyager 1 was in interstellar space, but still linked to the sun's magnetic influence. This discovery revealed the messy dynamic interaction between our solar system and the galaxy. The heliopause wasn't a simple wall, it was a porous magnetic maze. Understanding this helps explain how cosmic rays enter our solar system, affecting Earth and astronauts. Voyager 1's data gave us a front row seat to the physics of our cosmic shield. Our solar system shapes its environment more than we ever realized. The probe's findings forced us to rethink our models of the galactic frontier. Voyager 1 was mapping the invisible boundaries of our place in the Milky Way. Voyager 1's legacy is profound. It began as a planetary explorer, then became the first human object in interstellar space. Every day, it travels a million miles deeper into the galaxy, sending back data from a realm we once only imagined. Its discoveries, dense plasma, tangled magnetic fields, have rewritten our understanding of the solar system's place in the galaxy. But Voyager's impact goes beyond science. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's request, it turned back and photographed Earth, the pale blue dot. That image reminds us of our shared home and our responsibility to protect it. Voyager's journey is a humbling lesson in perspective and possibility. It represents humanity's curiosity, ingenuity, and hope. Long after it falls silent, Voyager 1 will drift through the Milky Way, a testament to a species that dared to explore. It carries our music, languages, and images on the golden record, a message of hope. Voyager 1's journey is our journey. It connects us all, reminding us that our potential is as limitless as the cosmos. The story of Voyager 1 is the story of us reaching for the stars.